Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to a Masali G video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking on my, yeah, one year anniversary of uh, owning a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. And um, yeah, what a messed up one year anniversary, man. Like, nah, seriously, it's something where I'm like, if I would have known then what I know now about this phone, I probably would have never bought it. You know, it's something where I'm like, I've never had an issue like this with um, any any phone from freaking iPhones, other Samsung Galaxy phones. I'm trying to think what other types. Yeah, those are the two um, phones I've mainly gone back and forth with. I'm like, even the like little cheap phones I had back in school. Yeah, I was like, that. I've never had an issue like this. And for samsung to market this phone as like the most durable phone of all time and just for it to have an issue you know like yeah that's that's something where i'm like i it's just it's upsetting it's it's upsetting so i might not display my frustration but trust me i am very very frustrated so anyways maybe three weeks ago so the screen the inside screen of the phone started peeling didn't think anything of it. I was like, you know, okay, it's just that, you know, I looked it up online. People were saying that it's just a screen protector. It's not the screen itself. So I was like, okay, you know what? No biggie, no, like, problem or anything. I'm not going to trip about it. You know, then two weeks ago, the, uh, um, yeah, the screen, you know, it started peeling a little bit more. More so where the hinge part is at, right? So I was like, all right, you know, it's whatever. I've had phones before where the screen savers came off a little bit. Not tripping off of it and stuff. I could live with that. Then, uh, yeah, last week, then it was just all throughout the middle of the screen. And I was like, okay, you know what? I I don't know what I should do now at this point. I'm like, it's not messing up the phone. It's just a screen protector. Okay, so you know what? No biggie, no problem. I'm not going to trip about it because it's just a screen protector. And then earlier this week, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get the phone fixed. So I go up to T-Mobile. Um, they, I guess they did have a store, they could have fixed it, like, underneath, but then they couldn't, and so, because the store was closed, and I was like, alright, you know, it's whatever, I'm all like, it's, you know, it's no big problem, I'm, it's just, it's just a screen, or it's just a screen, um, cover, so it's not the screen itself, so I'm not gonna trip off of it. Yesterday, um, the screen, I, I it's better if I just show you guys what's going on versus just telling you, but overall... that that's what's wrong with the screen right now and it's something where it's yeah the screen um it barely it doesn't even work like i felt it vibrate a little bit but yeah that's that's what's going on and my thing is is this you know i'm not i think i've said that before that it's like i don't do crazy things with my phones you know all phones that i have i'm like the most i have ever done is yeah like like from my pocket drop a phone outside and that's like on like every blue moon but that's the thing with this phone have not dropped it outside if anything's i've dropped it on carpet so it's like you would think oh, okay on carpet like yeah and then especially with this case covering it like i've had this case literally since i bought this phone so it's like that's if i even if i were to drop it outside like they said that it passed this 20 foot drop test so it's like bro i'm i'm not 20 feet and i'm like even if i were to drop it outside it's like it still shouldn't damage the phone i don't under so the only explanation that i possibly have is because i remember seeing this with my mom's car uh she has um one of those like touchscreen um uh like radio whatever you want to call it and things I, now, I, I don't know whether to call it a dash or whatever but anyways she overall like she has like that touchscreen part in the um like in the middle portion of her car and I remember when it got extremely hot outside, like, it started melting the screen off, and then the screen just started, you know, messing up and things. That's really the only explanation that I have. If not that, then I, I need an explanation on how does a screen protector cause a black line to go down the screen. That's something where, it, like, it frustrates me because I bought this phone under the impression that I wouldn't have to replace this phone under any circumstances that I was going to keep it for a couple of years, right? So, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm literally telling everybody that's asking me about phones and stuff that I have this phone. It's the best phone that I've ever had. I don't plan on getting any other phone. And now it's like I'm in this 
conflicting mindset where it's like, well, what phone should I get now? Because it's like, I don't want to get an iPhone because I'm not trying to have it where after four or five months, the phone starts acting slow. I'm not trying to get another uh, uh, Galaxy Z Fold phone because I don't want the screen to start messing up after a year. And what's crazy is that I read online that they said the threes, and obviously this is a four, threes and four, the three has done this already. The four is doing it right now. No telling what was going to happen with the 5. And there's a friend of mine that just recently got the 5. And I'm like, I, I don't get how that happens. I, I don't get how a screen protector messes up the phone. I That's something where it's like you think it protects the screen, not messes the screen up. So that that's where it's like I got to ask that question to Samsung. Why would you guys put that mess on the phone knowing that it's going to mess the screen? Like that's the thing people need to when you're putting a product out there you need to do like thorough testing with it you can't just do oh well let's just do like maybe a week or two worth of testing and then see what happens no you guys gotta like keep the phone for a while and then see use it do everything that you possibly can with it so you can give it that title saying that it's the most durable phone but after a year of having it and then it's like i still need to make payments on it yeah that's something where it's like nah fam i'm not with that i'm not with the fact that I got paid for a broken phone. It ain't even like my thing is this. Again, I don't go outside and be throwing my phone crazy. I don't throw my phone crazy, even in my the comfort of my own house, where it's like if I throw my bruh, if I throw my phone on the bed, it's literally a toss just for when I go and lay down. That's it. That's literally the only amount of throwing. You mean to tell me throwing my phone on my bed, that's what's gonna cause the screen to do that? That that don't make no sense to me, man. And it's like it, it's just upsetting where it's like I didn't make got like I it's just something that I wish I would have known or I wish it would have been told to me where it's like oh uh, but it's like obviously you know somebody that's trying to do business they're not gonna tell you the negatives with the phone they just only want to tell you the positives and stuff oh yeah it's the most durable phone of all time it has like double the um the screen that you know most phones have it's a phone that folds and opens and things like yeah they want to tell you all the positives but they don't want to tell you no negatives and it's like I'm me thinking that if people are telling telling me and I'm seeing all these billboards and signs up saying that this is the most durable phone of all time why would i go out of my way and look up to see oh is the screen gonna start giving up after a year no i'm thinking along the lines this is a durable phone if any if there's any reason why i would need to replace it is because the phone's getting old and i need to go out and get me a new phone but it's like i've fam i've had an iphone 4 5c 6 I think it was a um 11 that was the last iphone i had i had a samsung galaxy s8 s21 and i'm trying to think what other phones have i had i've had like little cheap generic phones that you'll get for free at like verizon or at&t or something i've like that was like back in the high school days i even had a virgin mobile flip phone bro virgin mobile flip phone all of the phones that i've ever had i've never had that type of issue with it and I'm like, fam, I am the most careful that I am, I can't be, I literally have said this, that I treat my phone like it is the president's. I protect it with my life. And you mean to tell me the phone itself did some self-inflicting damage to it? Yeah, I, that's, uh, that's, you know, if anybody out there is wondering like, hey, should you go out and get the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, 4, with whichever phone you want to get? I would recommend looking around before you make that jump on getting the phone and definitely yeah i mean i have insurance on it but it's like i shouldn't have to go out and replace it if they say that the phone's the most durable phone like i get if i did something to it i get if i didn't have a case i'm being careless with it throwing it like it's a football across across concrete and stuff i'm not doing that do you look my thing is is this I literally had looked up the best cases for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. I looked up best cases. So this case should show you guys that I I'm make sure of it. Even if my even the thing is is this, all right? And I know people will probably ask, well, why would you get a case like that if you're careful with your phone? Just for the times when it's like, if I like, not even so much as like me being careless, but let's just say there's that one time where I slip up a little bit, right? I'm out in public. I'm thinking I'm putting my phone in my pocket. It falls out, falls on the ground. I don't want to experience that pain, all right? So that's why I get a case just 
you know, for in case in, in the future, just for the future, if this phone does decide to, you know, do some hop and jump out my pocket, then I'm like, okay, I got a case for it. But other than that, it's like, fam, out of everybody that I've known, all right, I've seen people with cracked phone screens, cracked backs of um, screens, or not screens, but like back of the phone being cracked. I've seen people with missing battery packs. I've seen a missing, a missing back part of an iPhone, bro. How do you miss the back part of the iPhone? I literally seen a battery pack of the iPhone, bro. I'm saying I've seen so many people get careless with their phones, yet I see them all walking up and down the streets using theirs, and it's like, fam, I can't even use the inside part of my... I can, so, the beauty of it is that this screen still works, but what concerns me is, like, how long is it going to work? How long... It, and it just did some, like, oh, weird flickering stuff, and I'm like, I don't know if that was just me pressing the button, and it just, you know, counted it twice. I don't know, but my thing is, is this. It concerns me. Owning this phone and the inside screen is messed up and the outside screen works, but how long is it going to work? See, that's what I'm saying. It's like it, it'll be these unnecessary amounts of headaches and stress and all that stuff. And it's like, fam, who? That's what it's all like. Look, I get Samsung wants to make their money. I get T-Mobile wants to make their money. I get all of these companies want to make your money. But if you're going to put products out there, put products out there that works. That is all that the general public asks for. Just put out a product that works. I'm not trying to have it where I have to keep replacing products after products. And it's like, it. besides phones, this goes for video games, this goes for cars, this goes for any electronic device out there of some sort. I don't want to keep replacing the product and product after a while. If you guys can't get it right the first time, then y'all need to stop putting out the product. But it just don't make no sense to me to keep having it. And I'm not trying to have nobody in the comment section trying to defend all. Oh, well, maybe you should know. No, no it ain't no maybe I should. If I'm paying money for a phone, the phone should work regardless. After a while, if it like some years down the road, not after a year, one year. I get maybe some years down the road, and it's like, oh, well, the phone is old, all right? So, yeah, maybe it is about that time to replace it. One year, bro? And there's probably people still out there getting the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 because they've seen nothing, or even still have the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 because they've seen nothing interesting with the 5. What, the 5 closes up a little bit more? Probably is going to mess up the screen even more. But I'm saying, it's stuff like that where it's like, fam... How is that going to make me want to continue doing business with you guys? Like I'm saying, that's just, this is stuff that I don't understand, bro. It's like I don't want to keep replacing a product after product after product. I it, It's just, it confuses me on how, like, you can have a PlayStation 5 for, like, like up until the next PlayStations come out. Even sometime after the next PlayStation. I'm pretty sure there's people out there still with Xbox Ones, Xbox, uh, or uh, PlayStation 4s. Still ain't got to replace it. Yeah, you know, games might be a little bit, but the thing is, is this, though. It's because the product is getting old. That's what I'm saying. It's like companies need to stop doing this. Oh, well, let's release a new product every single year. No, put all your money and resources into one product, right? One product. When that product gets old, then that's when you come out with another product. But it just don't make sense to me where it's like you guys are already working on the fives, yet the four has issues. I, it's just, man, it's just so frustrating. And it's like, I'm not trying to have it where I have to keep, because my thing is this, okay, so let's say I go out and I jump out and I get this phone re um, repaired, or I jump out and get the uh, the, C um, the Z uh, Fold 5. What's going to happen next? Because I'm saying, it's like, that. that's just that type of stuff I know. I, I know what's happening next. I'm not getting no more folding phones, no flipping phones, none of that stuff. I'm going with the traditional glass phone. So, yeah, it's going to probably be the... Uh, Samsung Galaxy, um, you know, S or whatever phone that just ain't got no screen like that that's gonna cause it to mess up. But it's like, to me, it just don't make sense where it's like, I have to keep replacing a phone or whatever because they can't get it down right the first time. It's just, man, I, I, and that's, that's something where it's like, obviously the companies, they're not gonna care because they just gonna keep making their money regardless more and more. And it's like, fam, do you not hear the uh, people when they're talking on stuff like this? Or is it just like that money is just flowing th through your guys' ears so much to where you just refuse to listen to the general public? That's not cool, bro. That's not cool to be out here releasing products and they're gonna break after a year. 
That I'm like, I'm saying, and it's like, it's not, my thing is this, I'm not blaming T-Mobile, whoever, it's like, no, the thing is this, whoever is behind this design, I'm like, no, you need to go back in the, um, uh, uh, the writing room and come up with something different that's not gonna cause the phone to break after a year. Have it where a person can keep this phone for like four or five years. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, that just don't make sense, man. It really just doesn't make sense, but... Yeah, anyways, I guess, you know, that's that's where I'm at. After having this phone for a year, this is where I'm at mentally. It's just, and it's mentally draining. It's mentally frustrating. Where it's like, I gotta sit here and go out, save up money, buy, pay off this phone, and then have to go jump out and get me another phone. It's not cool, bruh. But anyways, yeah, talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.